Hi, my name is Daniela Del Giorno. I'm a performing arts teaching artist and creative aging trainer for Lifetime Arts. In this lesson, we'll discuss the importance of partnerships. Partnerships will look different depending on what purpose they serve. As you think about possible partnerships in your community, it's helpful to identify what your partner will do to support your program. Partners may be able to provide program support by providing your program a venue or classroom space, as well as recruitment and marketing tools. They may provide fiscal support in the form of sponsorship, donations, or help assessing grants and funds for sustainability. It's up to you to take a look at what your program needs are and then identify potential partners. When you begin your community mapping, investigate local arts organizations, schools, or arts councils to find out what work is already going on in the community and who's supporting it. These organizations may be potential partners who are interested in creative aging, but aren't yet offering those programs. They also may be able to assist you with securing space or access to materials needed for programs. They can also help with recruitment from their existing community members and can also network with other arts organizations and schools. Cross-sector partnerships are an excellent way to raise the visibility of your program and other programs in your community. Remember to keep in mind how this partnership is mutually beneficial to you and your partner. Look at any local government organizations or businesses that might have the ability to fund your program. There may also be religious or health and human services organizations that are working with senior communities who are interested in your program. Local businesses or merchant associations are other possible partners who might support your program through small donations or could become sponsors by providing materials needed for the program, food or drink for your culminating events, or help to spread the word to their client base about your program. A great example of cross-sector partnership is the Sukasa program in New York City. Set in all five of the city's boroughs, Sukasa is funded by the New York City Council in partnership with the Department of Cultural Affairs and the Department for the Aging. These funds are then dispersed to the borough arts councils, which are responsible for finding the teaching artists or organizations who will partner with the senior center. The Sukasa model is one that involves local government, arts councils, teaching artists, and senior serving organizations, and provides funding for programming, materials, and staff. The collaborative and multi-tiered approach is a unique approach that serves all cross-sector stakeholders or their constituencies. Finally, you wanna think about how you'll introduce yourself to potential partners. Be clear about what you need. If a partner understands what you're asking for, and what their role will be, they're more likely to be invested. Give them an understanding of why this will be mutually beneficial and be clear about each of your roles in the partnership. Do your research and understand what kind of organization or business you are approaching. Make sure your introduction to a potential partner is tailored to them. Do your homework so that you understand how your missions align and how this partnership supports both of your work.